With the smallest and most refined camera yet, the Hero 4 Session, GoPro add yet another action camera into the already established lineup. The Hero 4 Black Edition being the powerhouse of the bunch, the Session sits in the same price bracket as the Hero 4 Silver. So which should users go for? The already established Hero 4 Silver or the new Hero 4 Session? Considering only real-world usage and cutting out all the technical jargon, some results may well surprise you. When it comes to size and mountability, there's an obvious winner. The Session is smaller and lighter than not only the Hero 4 Silver, but also any other camera in the GoPro lineup. Bear in mind the Session is waterproof, so no extra housing is required, so add the extra housing to the Hero 4 Silver and we have even more of an overall difference. The difference affects mountability too. The smaller size means the Session is much easier to mount in smaller and tighter spaces than ever before. If that wasn't enough, whether it's on your body or your gear, the low weight means most will hardly notice it's even there. A clear win for the Session. The one button power and record makes the session incredibly easy to use, although that also means settings cannot be changed on the camera itself. That's a major downside for situations when using a smartphone or GoPro remote is not always convenient, since without one of these the session's shooting modes and other settings cannot be changed. Not so with the silver. The front facing LCD makes changing settings a super simple procedure, even simpler with the use of the rear LCD touch sensitive display. The quick capture mode replicates the one touch operation of the session and the GoPro app and remote can still be used in addition. Nevertheless, it's the ability to change settings and features quickly and easily on the camera itself with no other devices required that give the silver the win when it comes to usability. Talking of settings, the Hero 4 Silver is in a league of its own when choosing settings and features. Extra shooting resolutions all the way up to 4K, various frame rates, additional field of view options and an abundance of extra shooting modes such as time-lapse video and night-lapse to name just a few. Those after a more versatile camera will be best served with the Silver, another win for the Silver in this regard. Placing the physical and software aspects to one side, let's move on to the more important part, performance. Bearing in mind YouTube compression plays a part in reducing video quality a little, although these samples should give us a good indication of what we can expect. Sticking with 1080p at 30, both cameras perform rather well. Even though both carry different megapixel counts, the sensor size itself is actually the same. Nevertheless, the silver records at a higher bitrate of 45 megabits per second over the session's lower 25 megabits per second. In practice, this makes quite a difference. The Hero 4 Silver is the clearest by far with visible definition. The Hero 4 Session, however, edges are blurred and there's much more noise. It looks pretty terrible in comparison. As you can imagine, it's a similar story when it comes to images. The Hero 4 Session is noticeably more blurry when cropping and zooming into images, and the higher megapixel count on the Silver certainly helps in this regard. A clear win for the Silver. When it comes to colour, the Session seems to have a very familiar colour profile to the Hero Plus. Reds are slightly hot and blues are cool. The blues in the sky, for example, are paler on the Session and more vibrant on the Silver, and the actual colours seem more closer to those captured on the Silver. Nevertheless, when viewed side by side, the Hero 4 Silver can appear a bit weak. Again, using the trees as an example, the Hero 4 Silver shows a punchy green, but saying that the Session looks a little too strong. The Silver certainly has an increased colour depth though, and in most cases generated results that are closer to actual shooting surroundings and more natural looking. Many probably never consider dynamic range when it comes to action cameras. That's because it's not something that causes major concern unless you find yourself in lighting conditions such as these examples. This is particularly evident when looking in areas covered by shadow. Both units do have spot metering, a setting that adjusts light around the subject, 
but it's not always convenient to switch this on, especially since users can't even do this locally on the session itself. The session underexposes details in the shaded areas a little, while the silver does a much better job at balancing the background and foreground, maintaining some of the detail in the shadows rather than darkening them out entirely. Consequently, the silver maintains a rather dramatic strength in this regard and clearly comes out on top. When there's not much light, any camera is going to have to work harder to deliver a good image, and the same is true to all GoPro cameras in the range. These really aren't units suited to low light situations, and as such, both units struggle. The silver does produce results that are a little cleaner with less artifacting than the session, but it still struggles to deliver anything really usable. Nevertheless, the silver does have extra modes for image capture, such as night photo and night lapse, producing pretty incredible results for a small action camera. For this reason, the silver comes out on top yet again. One of the key features in the Hero 4 session is the new dual microphone configuration. While the naked Hero 4 Silver records better audio when not in the enclosure, with the Hero 4 session this simply isn't an option since it's always waterproof, so in effect the microphones are always behind a membrane. As such, its audio is always of the housed GoPro variety. With the silver in its waterproof housing, audio is certainly more muffled and the session certainly sounds better when it comes to overall volume. Certainly an area that can produce varying results and needs further testing, but from initial tests, while the silver performs better in its naked form, the session does seem to perform better when compared to the silver in its waterproof enclosure. Users also have the choice of using an external microphone with the silver, whereas the session is limited in this regard. For that reason, considering the session performs better compared to the silver in its housing, we'll call this one a draw. Anyone who's been using GoPros for any amount of time will likely have a stash of batteries. Typically, you can expect around two hours shooting per battery, depending on chosen mode and settings. This is a problem for the session, however, since it does not have a removable battery, meaning when the battery dies, users need to stop and manually charge it. Nevertheless, it does seem to last a little longer than the Hero 4 Silver. Typically, I achieved around an extra 20 minutes or so shooting time during constant usage, even though it has a lower capacity battery than the Silver. Although the session conserves battery life when not in use by switching off the camera, the Silver has the same feature available, known as Quick Capture, but then again it also has that battery guzzling LCD screen. Considering the session does seem to last a little longer overall, but the silver has the option to swap out batteries when need be, it's another draw in this department. So what it comes down to is this. While the session provides a great form factor and is perfect for shooting in certain scenarios, when it comes down to it, image quality isn't very good. I mean it's fine if you're just looking at it alone and GoPro certainly managed to make an impressive add out of the footage from it, but when compared with the Hero 4 Silver, the session gets its doors blown off. The Silver also gives you more options for frame rates and resolutions, switching settings is easy, it's waterproof to 131 feet with its included case that is, you can swap batteries out when you run out, and it's got a built in touch screen for framing shots, reviewing footage or tweaking options. It's just a much better camera, especially when you consider it costs the same as the session. Don't get me wrong, I like what GoPro is going for here. Re-examining form factors is healthy, and if it could get the quality of the silver into the body of the session, it would be a killer camera. That's not the case though. The session's image quality is two generations behind the times, and the field is just way too competitive for that, especially if you've priced among the top tier action cameras. Unless you need that small form factor, the Hero 4 Silver is where you'll have greater shooting flexibility along with higher overall quality.